Hello everybody, Epic Blocks here, and this time on Scratch, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different from the last couple of times. I'm going to start doing some advanced tutorials on advanced little features that you can put in your game. I've been noticing that there are a lot of really basic tutorials for Scratch, so, but I hadn't really seen anything like this, so I decided to give it a shot, and you can tell me what you think. So this time, as you can see, we're going to be doing high scores. And it's just a nice little high score board that you can put into your game and it'll record the high scores. So this game I have right here is extremely simple. You click the green button to get points and you click the red button to stop the game. And if you get a high score, it says high score. And you can type in your name and it'll put it up there along with your score. Now you can use any characters for this and it'll keep it, and you can have an infinite number of high scores. And in just a bit, I'll show you how I got this to work. So, if we go in here, this basically controls all the high scores. This right here is the reset. This deletes all of scores and high scores, and adds the basic, the basic high scores to the high scoreboard. I'll get over the scores list a little bit later, but basically this high scores list right here is a list that can keep strings. And scores, if you see down here, is actually keeping track of the scores, and this helps us find the right position. So basically, when the game ends, so when the red button is clicked, if the score is greater than the last item of high scores, that means it's greater than the last item of high scores, and it deserves to be on the high scoreboard, then it'll ask high score and wait. That's the Blue, blue high score thing down there. And then when you type that in, it'll give an answer, which we'll use later. And then it'll set depths of scores to one. This is something that I am using in order to find how far into the high scores list does the new high score require. And this repeats until score is greater than item depth of scores of scores. This would basically mean it, it changes the depth of scores by one. This basically means that when the score is, that it'll start at the top of the list, and when it finds when it finds an item in the scores that is less than it, then it'll cut out of this loop and go into the here. When it does do that, it'll insert score at depth of scores of scores. So it'll insert your score into the right position in the scores list. Min, it'll insert join, answer, join, space, join, score at depth of scores of high scores. And that's a bit complicated. Basically, it's putting in your input, a space, and your score in the high score board. That's what you actually see. And then it sets the score to zero. So as an example here, if I get eight, Hit the red button, say high score. You see it'll come up here, epic block eight, but then it'll also come down here as eight. So that's it really for now. That was just a little advanced thing that you can put into your game. And so you guys can tell me whether you like this, if you want me to keep doing stuff like this. And if you do, I would really appreciate that. So just post down in the comments what you think about this. That's really all I have right now. Thanks for watching.